Hello, everybody. Come on in. It's Sunday. Yep, I'm going to do Sunday dinner. And I'm going to be doing um, Fourth of July dinner tomorrow. So I hope you're having a God bless Sunday. Uh, hope that God is abiding in your life and that you feel the warmth and comfort of his love, that you'll continue to pray without ceasing for somebody. I tell you what, this day is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. I am rejoicing, and I am glad in it. Today, for the last, let's see, it's 4 o'clock now. I want to say for about four and a half hours of the day, I have been in prayer, talking about the Lord, talking to two very good friends, very beautiful, wonderful women in my life. First, uh, my, you you all know Miss Barbara. Barbara, we prayed this morning for about for the better part of an hour and a half, and uh, just set the scene for the day. And then one of my childhood, uh, I call her my big sister, because she's like, I think we established that she's five years older than me, and I've been knowing her since I was um, probably 10 or 12 or somewhere along in that. Anyway, she's still in my life, and we still talk. Remnants about, you know, the good old days. She's got grown children just like I have. And we've just been talking about the Lord throughout the day and the, the pitfalls of bad relationships and all those kind of things. And that's what you do when you talk to friends. So I just want to say this has been a blessed day for me because I have been in prayer. I have been in counsel. I have been all the things of God that I could think about and talk about to encourage and to uplift and to glorify the kingdom of God. So I do hope that and you have at some level that you've been able to take a little bit of time out and say thank you Jesus for where I am, for what you've allowed me to do, say, hear, see, manifest in somebody else's life, whatever it is. Just thank you Lord for my existence. Thank you Lord for all the many wonderful but thank you just for the air that I breathe. If nothing else, we got something that we can thank God for and be excited about life. So that was my soapbox for today. Just continue to pray without ceasing. And we're going to go ahead and get some Sunday dinner going. Now, last night I did some fresh fried corn. So my corn is already done, y'all. So I'll put it out here when I uh, get ready to finish up the rest of my meal. So what we're going to have on the menu today, I've got some brisket in the oven thawing so I can slice it. I uh, got some fried chicken from K-Fried. Yep, ain't no shame in my game. I went and bought some fried chicken today because I didn't realize I was going to really need it. But since somebody requested it and I didn't have time to, you know, thaw one out, cut one up and fry one, I went ahead and bought two. Okay, so we're going to have some fried chicken on the menu, some brisket, some fried chicken, some sautéed mushrooms, and some uh, sautéed uh, cream of potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And I've got a little bit of pasta salad waiting in the wings. So today, well actually tomorrow is uh, Lauren's birthday, but she, we're going to sort of celebrate it today. I got the memo earlier today, so... That's why we are going ahead and doing her dinner today. I had planned on doing it tomorrow for the 4th because we're actually celebrating our 4th on the 3rd, which is at Lauren's actual birthday. I know it sounds like a tongue twister, but Lauren actually turns 18 the 3rd of July. We're excited for her. We're happy for her. So we're going to celebrate her birthday today. Okay, so let me get started with this cooking. So what I want to do right now, I got this skillet pulled out. This is just to get my mushrooms sauteed. I've got them washed and um, a little bit of seasoning on them. So I'm going to put them up there with some olive oil, just like they are, just like that. Just like that. I'm not going to even cut them. I'm going to use them just like that. Okay. Now, the other thing that I'm going to put with them is going to be some fresh garlic. Y'all know me and my garlic. So I'm just I'm gonna do the garlic the same way. I'm just gonna throw the garlic in there. It's about a uh, a half a about a fourth of a cup about that much garlic. How about that? I love me some garlic, y'all. And brown them out with some garlic. Okay. Keep that heat as high as you can because what, one thing about mushrooms, you know they are water, 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 water. So okay. we're gonna leave that heat up high. 
and let that um, garlic sort of steam up for them. And I'm gonna have to reduce all the juice out of them. So it's gonna take that in order to get the, uh, get them cooked down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my everything but the kitchen sink seasoning, just a little bit, you know, um, mushrooms are porous and they're gonna suck up all the juice that you pour on them. So, and I'm cooking them in olive oil. Now this is the regular olive oil. When they get cooked down, some of the juice cooks out, I'm gonna pour some of my uh, real heavy olive oil on them and let them just cook and I'll dash them with a little bit of butter. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put me a couple of tablespoons of butter in there right now so that they can cook right into so that the juice rather can cook right into them. Okay. Let's get another. There we go. We just gonna let it cook because we know that, that juice is gonna be rolling, rolling, rolling through this entire process. Okay. All righty. Now I'm gonna switch burners and I'm gonna get this over here because now I've got another skillet of stir fry to cook. Now I'm gonna start up my, um, I got Brussels sprouts and potatoes and onions to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and get those going in this pan. I really need to move that pan. Well, no, it's okay. So now we're gonna do our Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Of course, you know, I ran my um, Brussels sprouts through, the, I'm sorry, my potatoes through the oven first. And then my Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna go ahead and start stir frying. So olive oil. And a couple tablespoons of butter. Get it really, really nice and hot. And then just drop those Brussels sprouts in there and just begin to marinate them and uh, let them cook around in that pan and just let them cook until they are nice and tender. We wanna add the potatoes, let them cook in together put a lid on them and sort of let them steep a little bit. So hang tight and I'll be right back y'all. Okay, we're ready to put this half pound of Brussels sprouts and onions in the pan. It's about a, 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 a pound, I'm sorry, a half a pound of Brussels sprouts and a large onion. I went ahead and put a little bit of seasoning on it. And what we're gonna basically do is just gonna let them sit in that, that oil and cook and we're gonna keep stirring them. And at a point, when they get just about done, I'm going to throw the potatoes in, okay? Okay, it's time to put in the potatoes. Okay, remember I put these potatoes, I always put my potatoes in the microwave for a little while. And let them cook. olive oil okay wonderful and at this point you can just let these potatoes and Brussels sprouts cook this has to cook about 20 minutes before it's all good and done and then we're going to cover them and just let them steep and simmer until they all cook in together and we may have to add a little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to taste the salt right now. I'm just going to let them cook a little while. And then I'll taste the salt. Give that juice a time to cook in. Okay. Okay, we're going to see the bonnet again. I need to show you something with the mushroom. Mm. Okay, we get the mushrooms back right here. Now these mushrooms yielded about a cup and a half of, of broth. Oh, wow. Okay, as you can see, the mushrooms have cooked down quite a bit. What I really did, I poured the broth out there about twice that much. I've then just adding it back, adding it back, and just let it cook right off again. Because when the mushrooms are cooking, 
all that juice is cooking out on not only lose all that juice, I want that juice to stay in there because that is pure unadulterated flavor, y'all. So we just want to continue to simmer there and cook. Let that juice cook right into that uh, garlic. And we're gonna have them ready in about 10 minutes. They'll probably cook about 30 minutes. And I'm gonna say the uh, Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Um, about each one in about 30 minutes, you know. Put those potatoes in the oven. I put a pound of potatoes and a pound of Brussels sprouts. Put those, wash them, clean them, season them. Ram them through the microwave for about 10 minutes, the potatoes. Then I went ahead and put oil in the pan start sauteing my mushroom, um, my uh, Brussels sprouts for about 12 minutes. Then I add the potatoes to them and, if I, and, and some some more butter. Again, I add potatoes, the butter. And I use a little bit of broth out of the mushrooms, about a three fourths of a cup to go into my Brussels sprout mix. So Brussels sprouts mix, uh, some juice, but not a lot. So you have to keep the heat down low if you want to make a little bit of broth for you. Okay, so we're just about finished with the Brussels sprouts and the mushrooms. So we're gonna go off, get that brisket out, start slicing it up. The chicken's already done, of course. I'm heating up the corn, and we're gonna be ready for this meal here shortly. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, Sunday dinner is ready, ready, ready. Chicken compliments of KFC. Some original and crispy. And there's some brisket that was in my freezer. I took it out, sliced it up, made a little gravy. There's my creamier potatoes and Brussels sprouts. There's some shredded chicken for sliders, mushrooms, and my good old fresh fried corn. So we get ready to sit back and relax and enjoy this meal. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for your prayers, your well wishes, your comments, and your compliments. Remember to continue to pray without ceasing and do something kind for somebody. And be safe during this holiday season. Cook good food. Invite friends in. And most of all, like I said, just be safe and enjoy the season. Um, hopefully it's not too hot where you are. It was like 92 here today, so I don't know where you are and what that weather is. But be careful even out there in that heat if you're on the beach or whatever. My neighbors are on the beach, and uh, I'm praying for them, y'all. It looks like it might rain here shortly. But anyway, wherever you are, just be safe. Uh, have fun and pray without ceasing. Love you guys. Toodles. Large happy birthday cake. Isn't that a pretty cake? It's yellow and cream with little chocolate swirls. Beautiful, beautiful cake. 